So I made a bet with some friends that I can make some decent fan soundtracks, but if I don't, I have to buy everybody in a Discord some food. And because I'm this perfect specimen of man, I don't like to lose. You guys are the judges and will decide if I did a decent enough job. Please help show my friends keep starving. The two games my friend chose were Earthbound and Kirby. Let's get right into it. With the Earthbound track, I listened to the Ornette Village theme as my main inspiration to loosely base the soundtrack from. <laughs> This one is a little tricky for me because I never made older game music or music in this style before. After that, I decided to lay down some chords and try to figure some things out. The beginning section of the Ornette theme was a little goofy to me, so I decided to use some chords from the Mixed Lady and Elidian sound to help give that goofy feeling. The same technique the Legend of Zelda franchise uses when you're around the Gorons. I added a bit of delay to the chorus to make them feel a bit bouncier and then laid down a melody on top that matched the phrase length of the original song. The original song used like a guitar or a stringed instrument, so I used a harpsichord to help get that similar texture added. For the bass, I just used one of my favorite bass sounds from Analog Lab, which is called Jazzy Bass. Like the original song, I gave the bass some eighth notes to help keep the rhythm and it helps keep the song driving a little bit more. Then I finally added some drums to this first section. For the bass drum, I actually couldn't find a sound that I really liked, so all I did was I took a snare sound, put a low pass filter on it and then I pitched it down and you know it gets a pretty good result to me. Coming into this next section of the song I added some like jazz chords with a chromatic walk down. And I wanted this section to feel a bit more relaxed, so I made the main melody have longer note values compared to the first one. I used this green bottles sound, so I imagine somebody is blowing through a green bottle playing this melody. After that, I mixed it a little bit and arranged some stuff, and here's the track right here. Some self-critique before I move on to the next one. I think I made the first section a little too goofy in my opinion. I can almost hear goofy behind me. <laughs> I could have added more to the second section and I could have made the transition smoother between the first section and the second section and also some other minor things. But overall, I think it went, you know, pretty decent. For the Kirby inspired track, I based it off a song from Kirby's Return to Dreamland and used my orchestra library to make this one. I'm a little bit more comfortable with this genre just because this isn't the first orchestral track I've made, but I still haven't made a whole bunch of tracks like this in the first place. For the first section's chord progression, I just kind of stole it from the original song because, you know, remember, stealing is good if you don't get caught. At first, I wanted to start the song off with a trumpet like the original song, but I just chose French horn because... You know, the French horn is such a beautiful instrument, and so I just wanted to really emphasize that in the first part of the melody. I had a different melody at first, but then I realized that the original Kirby melody had like a call and response type of quality to it, so I changed it to match towards that phrase length and that quality of the original Kirby melody.
Then I go ahead and repeat the melody with some strings and I add some trombones behind it to make everything sound a little bit more full in this kind of like second or middle section going into the B section. For the second section, I go to the relative minor of this key. So I started this song off in the key of C major and then I go to A minor, which has the same notes as C major. So the only thing that changes is just, you know, you go from happy to sad in a simpler terms. <laughs> just because I wanted to make this other section feel a little bit more mellow and sad. And so I also added trumpet to the melody that has long notes, helping it feel more mellow also. I feel like that part was also a little still too empty, so I added a counter melody with the French horn again because, you know, we always could use more French horn. And then, oh, oh, did you catch that? I just use the Mario chords or the Zelda chords or the chords that somehow appear in almost all Nintendo game soundtrack chords. The flat six, the flat seven going to the one progression is a very common progression in the Nintendo game soundtracks. Which pulls us back to the first section of this track where I added trumpet and flute to help fill it out for the second time. Now I usually do drums last when I'm making these type of tracks and I just added a simple groove with a kick on one and three, snare on two and four and a hi-hat playing 16th notes. After mixing this a bit and playing with the arrangement, this is the final track that I have. Personally, I feel like this track is definitely a watered down version from the original I based it from. The transitions are bland and it doesn't have enough character in my opinion. I like this still because I haven't made too many orchestral tracks and this probably was one of the better ones, especially with me making it in about an hour or so. I wish that I probably should have took more time with making these tracks. I mean, please let me know in the comments down below how you guys feel because remember you guys are the judges and so let me know how you think I did. Also let me know if you like these type of videos too, like I'll still keep doing the analysis videos but I wanted to try something a little different. Thanks for watching.